what is resource allocation? Resource allocation allows you to plan for future work by allocating your staff to specific projects and tasks. You can allocate budgets weekly or monthly, and this can now be edited at the project level. You'll also be able to see which staffers are being over or underutilized and be able to make informed decisions to adjust hours accordingly. Resource allocation also allows you to anticipate monthly revenue for your T&M projects based on your staffers hourly bill rates and also your fixed fee projects based on the fixed amount set to be billed to the client. So to set up your allocations, first we'll navigate here to my company and client list. And just a note here, depending on the verbiage in your own site, this could be project list, engagement list, and that just depends on how you set up your lexicon when you first created your big time site. But for me, it's called the client list. Then let's click into one of my clients here. So I'll just use Burnham CPA as an example. And then let's click into the tasks tab. Once again, this is another one of those points where your verbiage may be different. Instead of tasks, you might have phases or to do's or engagements. And here you can see that I have a few tasks set up such as management consulting, general tax prep audit and returns. So tasks are key to budgeting and they're also key to setting up your allocations since allocations are driven entirely by tasks because you're allocating staffers to projects, but also to specific tasks on an hourly basis. So if we click into the allocations tab here, we can kind of take a look at what I mean. So these are some graphs that give you a general overview of where you're at budget-wise versus the amount of hours that you actually allocated. So on the left-hand side, you can see the remaining budget, actuals on the bar graph, budget versus actuals, key members that I have set up here for this project, which are just the staffers that have the most hours allocated. And then below, you can see budget versus actuals over time in graph form. So to actually set these allocations up, however, we'll click down below to edit allocation. And here you can see right now I'm in the task view. So I've got the task name in green. I've got the budgeted amount of hours that I've set for this task right next to it. So 200 hours, you can see there, you can see the due date. And all the way to the right, you can see the amount of hours that I have allocated currently for this task. If I do go over the amount of hours that I initially budgeted, that allocated amount will turn red. So let's just enter 200 hours here and you can see that turn red. Okay, so from each of these dropdowns, you would first choose your staffer or you could also allocate to a specific role. So if you'd rather allocate by role instead of an individual staffer, you have that option available as well. And you also have the option, as I mentioned earlier, of allocating time weekly or monthly. And that is controlled here on the left-hand side in this sidebar. And you can change that setting as well. I'm just gonna change that back to weekly here for our purposes. If you check the box to show actual hours, that will show all of the input hours for the given period. And you can also compare with a baseline as well. So a baseline is basically a set of allocation numbers that you can compare future allocations against. So for example, if I wanted the current allocations here to be my baseline that I compare against moving forward, then I would just hit create baseline in the bottom right, click yes to update. That would overwrite any existing baseline that I have saved. And moving forward, if I check compare with baseline again on the left, now I can see my current numbers compared to the baseline below. And these are obviously the exact same numbers because this is the baseline I just created. 
You can use the arrows above to jump backwards or forwards in time. And you can also turn on auto save. So if you're entering a bunch of allocations at a time and you don't want any of your data that you've entered to be lost in the case of an internet outage or an accidental refresh, then you should make sure to turn that auto save feature on. If I click into the view by staff member here up top, these are the same exact allocations, just a different view. So now instead of the task name in green, I can see each of the staffers name he names here, such as Jeff, Nancy, and myself, how many hours I have for the given period in terms of capacity. So that's 40 hours a week based on my monthly capacity of 160 and that's set at the staff list. And then instead of choosing a staffer, here you would choose the task that you want to allocate hours for that staffer to. Okay, if I go ahead and click shift here below, I can also shift my allocations over a week. So you can see the seven hours here shifting and I can shift them back by clicking the left arrows there. All right, so once you hit save here on this screen, you'll be presented with a few options. First, you have the option to update task assignments. So it, this will essentially replace your existing task assignments with whoever you have time allocated for currently. One note about that, that the system does warn you about as well, is that if you do have existing task assignments, it will replace those with whoever you've allocated time for currently for this project. On the other hand, the option update the client team, that will simply add any staffers that you've allocated time for to the client or project team. That won't replace your current team, however and update hourly budgets. If you have an hourly budget set at the task level, it will replace that number with the amount of hours that you have allocated for each task. Then finally, below here, the revenue recognition model. This is basically asking you if this project is billed hourly or at a fixed fee, and that will tie directly into your revenue projections when it comes to allocation reports. So for this project, I'm going to go ahead and leave that as fixed fee, and that will come into play once you look at the allocation reports. And I'll just go ahead and click these boxes here as well. Okay, so now if we go into the editor here, you can see the assignments that have been updated since I checked the box to update task assignments. And if I go back and look at the team here, you can see the staffers that I allocated time for to this project all are on the project team here now. Okay, so we took a look briefly at the allocation graphs here. So this kind of gives you just an overall view of your budgeted amount versus your actuals.